Hey gamers, welcome back to uh, Fire Chicken Review. Today we're going to be talking about the accessories that come with uh, the Megan uh, Gaben table uh, by Geek and Son. Uh, so for those that may not have watched uh, my uh, first video, I uh, a year and a half ago went out and wanted to get a gaming table, so I chose uh, the Megan table by Geek and Son. And uh, because I'm an amateur, small time uh, content creator on YouTube here, uh, when I reached out, I said, hey, I would love to do a review. Are you interested in... Uh, throwing in anything and to my surprise they actually threw in over 800 pounds uh, and that's not actual physical pounds but uh, the, the type of currency 800 pounds worth of uh, accessories that they threw in uh, so obviously one of the, the biggest uh, uh, contents that I've done on the channel because usually I, I talk about custom gaming tokens and whatnot uh, and so I was super excited a year and a half later here is uh, the table so really wanted to talk about accessories and uh, diving into each one and if you're picking up the Megan table what I think of uh, each of the accessories if you should uh, pick it up or if you shouldn't and uh, again wanted to point that out because since they threw it in for free obviously there's going to be some uh, biases with that but I'm still going to try to give my honest opinion and speaking of which starting right off uh, the bat here uh, there's some accessories that I uh, told uh, Geek and Son that I, I was not interested in uh, getting uh, at all and so that's, a, that's an important uh, uh, talking point. So obviously at the bottom of my list uh, for accessories is that you can get one of the table legs. It can be a USB uh, charger. And you will see some of the other content creators also talked about uh, the USB charger leg that you can get. And the issue that I have uh, with it is that obviously if you're using your, your gaming table, it's usually going to be uh, as a dining room table, I should say. You're, you're probably going to be in the center of uh, your your living room, uh, not your living room, but your dining room there, or it's, it's probably going to be a little bit further away from outlets, and you probably don't want to have a cumbersome uh, wire hanging out uh, being plugged in for your table leg so that people can plug into a USB charge. To me, uh, I see that I, I might as well just actually have either uh, a side table or something or just having people uh, plug in elsewhere so that it's not clogging up uh, the, the table space and just looking a little bit like a, a nuisance. So that's all to say that uh, for me, I, I was not interested in uh, getting that uh, because it wasn't something that would interest me and I didn't want to have a, a bias aspect reviewing it. So I uh, just said, uh, please don't uh, send that. So the other items here that we're gonna be talking about are gonna be uh, the cup holders, mug holders, different uh, accessories that you can potentially get. And these are all uh, fairly uh, expensive because you're talking about a custom gaming table. Uh, uh, the table itself is not cheap either, so you really want to make sure when you're going out that you're getting what you want. Uh, and I talked a little bit already about the, the bench that I'm sitting on, that, uh, which I, I love quite a bit, so I won't be covering that as much. I recommend checking out uh, my first video for that. Uh, but everything else, uh, I'm going to dive in, doing a, a closer up uh, view. So let's stop talking and sitting down at the table and let me grab uh, some of the stuff and uh, show everyone here. So the first thing I want to show as I come over to uh, the side here is going to be uh, the big box that you can uh, get here. So it's a nice little box. You can obviously store pens and um, pencils or whatever you want. So this is a great little thing. Uh, so I think this has uh, multiple purposes that I would uh, personally use it for. Uh, some of the stuff, obviously, if you're a D&D uh, player, having lots of dice uh, storage and whatnot. And it's pretty... Uh, you can see it's a little bit thicker than other stuff. Uh, it's, a, it's a pretty nice uh, thing. I would recommend picking up uh, the big uh, storage uh, box if you're looking to have potentially, maybe you want to put some minis here. Uh, so having your minis off to the side, putting your dice, just a, it's a nice uh, little storage thing. It is a little bit uh, clunkier, as I said, like it's a little bit uh, thicker here, but it's uh, quite nice. Uh, my only other uh, complaint is on the inside it's not as, um, like, it's a little bit rougher on the inside, uh, specifically on this side here. So it wasn't sanded, uh, I suspect, as much over here, or it's just the, the grain of the wood. But everything else is uh, quite nice. I love uh, the fact that you can have, uh, put your pens and uh, uh, pencils uh, there. And, uh, yeah, it's a, a little nice thing. Again, a little bit uh, bigger. So I would recommend this uh, for uh, the D&D &D uh, crowd or for those that want to have uh, they're playing a, a lot of mini games uh, that's miniature games I mean 
and you want to put your troops or your, your personnel off to the side and not have it on the table because you're deploying them or whatnot, that's a cool little spot to put them in. And I think that's a, a pretty useful one. So I don't think this is for everyone. I would say that it is great for D&D players. Like I said, those are playing a lot of miniature games. And let me know in the comments what else you would potentially use it for. Uh, the next one I want to talk about here was something I think they added on a little bit later on, on their line. And that is uh, the mug holder. Very straightforward and makes a lot of sense. What happened was, as you can see, I have uh, the normal cup holder right next to it was that uh, there was uh, some complaints uh, by some customers that uh, the cup holder won't be able to fit in mugs. So if I take uh, my quick plug-in for the boardroom, a great little cafe, and I try to put it in there, obviously it's not going to fit. Uh, and so that's where the mug holder came in. And now it easily fits, great uh, little spot. And uh, yeah, so I have uh, two of these and I think this is great, I would recommend Probably if you're really big into uh, drinking uh, teas, coffees, or whatnot, or you just always have a, a mug, I'd probably recommend picking up uh, like two or four of these. You know, most of uh, the cup holders and whatnot, you probably want to have the amount that you're going to have for people using it. So in this case for me, two is great because uh, my wife and myself may have it. Or usually I'm going to drink uh, just from a normal cup holder, so uh, I, I probably won't need it, but those who are using it at my table, uh, too, is perfect for me. So I was glad to uh, get that. But yeah, I think that works uh, pretty well. Uh, the next one here is uh, the cup holder. And what I like it is it comes with a, a stainless steel uh, that can come out, so um, which is a nice so that you can use it for two functions. You can go ahead and fill this up with uh, your snackers uh, without issue, so you can put in your chips or candy or whatever you're gonna have while you're playing uh, your games here. And then you can just throw it uh, in like so. And say that you don't wanna have uh, snacks, you can have just it as a uh, cup holder. And it fits, uh, you know, it's gonna fit your Pepsi uh, bottles as well as uh, your glasses, uh, no problem there. So this is a pretty standard thing that a lot of custom uh, gaming tables uh, are gonna have. Usually they don't come with them directly you have to get as a side thing and uh, yeah I totally recommend uh, picking these up and for most people I would say that this is like the default item because you want to have people's uh, grubby fingers or or glasses not on the table because you're worried about getting your beautiful table uh, damage or having spillage uh, you know because gamers are are concerned about these items uh, so you can just have it off to the site to the side I should say and uh, it uh, is really nice for the fact, like I said, that you can put snacks in there. And if you don't want to have it there, you can pop this out and just have it uh, wherever else you want on the table. And so the last one here that we're going to be talking about as far as glasses, mugs and whatnot is a, a wine holder. And this is, uh, yeah, just a really straightforward. I love what uh, they've done uh, here and uh, it will fit uh, wine glasses. No problem fit in like that. So the stem hangs down a bit like so. And I think this is a great little item, easy to uh, pick up. Uh, you're not gonna be worried about people spilling. It's gonna be able to move around without uh, issue. And I think uh, it's a, a fairly straightforward and simple uh, design, but it makes a lot of uh, uh, sense uh, here. So my overall thing is, I think for the, the cup holder, mug holders, and uh, wine holders, or you know wine glass holders, I should say, is that it all depends on how many people are normally gonna be at your table using it. I definitely recommend by default getting probably four of uh, these for your gaming table. It's unfortunate that it's not part of like a bundle, it is separate items because of the customization of whatever you're gonna to wanna to do. Uh, probably depending on your, your group, you may want a few of the mug holders and uh, I, I don't think everyone's gonna to want to wine glass holders, but it's gonna be useful. The other item is that for the wine glass holders and it's probably you know, some wine experts or people that like the wine glasses. I think this one sticks out a little bit further than the other ones, as you can see. So you have uh, this dead space. I probably would have liked this a little bit uh, further in, but maybe it's just a, a nice for people that are concerned because it is uh, further down where your, your glasses are gonna be in like this and over the table. So if I actually show like this, 
Uh, maybe it's like that so that if uh, someone uh, spills or drops something, it's not going into your glass. Where the other ones, because it's over uh, the ledge, it shouldn't be as much of an issue, if that makes uh, sense uh, there. So those are the different, uh, uh, yeah, wine cup holders and whatnot. All fairly uh, standard uh, stuff when you're looking at game custom game tables. A lot of gaming tables uh, have this. Not all game tables have this uh, big uh, storage uh, bin, but that's a unique item. And speaking about unique items, we're going to move over to this side here. And the first one is an iPad. The iPad is fairly cheap. It comes with, no, uh, it's an iPad holder is what I actually want to show here. And I'll move that phone over here. And the reason why this is cool. Now, this is uh, the thing that uh, you'll see that on, on their site is that if I did get that uh, USB uh, leg, you could have this uh, up like so and hanging and you could plug your USB, uh, sorry, you could plug in your iPad so it's uh, charging uh, like uh, that and have it uh, that way. I think this is a cool little uh, thing either way, just to have uh, this. This is gonna be great uh, for those that are playing a lot of role-playing games and you're using the iPad as their source for looking at um, the rules or even if you uh, are playing games that are interactive, a lot of games now like uh, I think Lord of the Rings Middle Earth by Fantasy Flight Games. And there's, um, uh, what's the other game? Can't remember off the top of my head, but there's a few games now that are using a hybrid mode of having the game table out so your board and also using a, an iPad or your phone uh, to interact to put some more stuff on here. So yeah, this is a great little easy, simple holder. And of course, I would recommend uh, this for people that actually have iPads. Uh, I think it may be useful for uh, some other uh, types of um, things similar to this, uh, like tablets, I should say. I think you can probably fit this, no problem. Like if I remove that, it is a, a nice uh, chunky enough thing that it should be able to hold whatever type of, of uh, tablet that is of similar size as an iPad. But obviously, it's for uh, main function, it's supposed to be for uh, an iPad. So that's kind of cool. Um, the next one here is just a block of wood, right? Uh, and when I take uh, this uh, phone that I put to uh, the side, if it works its magic, it might take a second here <laughs> or not work at all for me now that it wants to be camera shy. Uh, give me a second. Okay. No, it doesn't want to work because it's probably, yeah, it's not on. So let me turn uh, this on here. If I press the right button. Okay, so press the, the button here and voila. So now it's a uh, charging uh, device. So uh, hopefully that wasn't too long of a blunder here, but that is a, a fairly cool. This is probably uh, my second favorite uh, accessory here because it's a wireless uh, charging uh, bank that's uh, in, embedded inside uh, the wood. So it, uh, I do have some uh, grievances with it, depending on your phone uh, case you have. So this phone case is not too heavy or anything like that. Uh, it seems to work a little bit better with uh, my uh, spouse's Apple uh, phone. It seems to work like instantaneously versus my Android. And for those that love Androids or Apples, it takes a little bit longer for it uh, to come on. And all it is, it, like I said, is that inside there's a, a bank. So there's just a charge a bank inside embedded inside the wood here. Very cool device overall though, because when you have it plugged in here, or not plugged in because it's wireless, but when you have it here, it just looks like a block of wood throwing your uh, phone uh, down here and now it charges uh, right away. So you can see that it was just my fingers not working the first time. Um, this I prefer oh, very much over having a USB uh, leg. So if uh, you're gonna have friends and company come over or you forget to charge uh, your phones, um, yeah, this is something like we all love uh, power banks. Uh, if you're a person that loves power banks and whatnot, yeah, this is something I would pick up. It's a little bit more costly. I think it's a, a, like around 60 or 65 pounds uh, for this, but you're paying for uh, the design and you're paying for a power bank on top of that, right? So the power bank itself is from a different company, obviously. And so Geekson has to pay for that. And then they're putting it into uh, the woods, but very much a, a cool device. 
Uh, it's my second uh, favorite thing, only for the convenience, right, of being able to charge your phone while you're sitting at the gaming table and not having wires. I love uh, wireless items. The next item here is not the, the book that you see, uh, which is the Keyforge RPG, but it's just um, having a, a spot to put your, your reference uh, books or your RPG books like the, the Keyforge uh, book uh, here. And it's just a nice little thing and a lot of uh, content creators are saying that they love to have uh, this. If you are a content creator, they love to just have this off to the side because it can be nice and hidden so that when uh, they, they have uh, their scripts talking about what they're going to do for their videos, they can go over uh, the stuff. And so it's just a nice little extension, I think. Uh, so just having this, it's, it's something I would uh, definitely recommend for anyone that is really getting big into RPGs wants to have uh, their rule books off to the side or anything like uh, that. I, I don't think it's a necessary uh, accessory, unlike um, uh, I, I would consider like the charge bank uh, more important and like cup holders. But I think for a lot of people, if you have uh, the capacity to get it, it's a, a nice add on uh, to have. So I would if uh, they didn't uh, give this gift this to me, I would still uh, picking this up because I do enjoy quite a few RPGs and I like the idea of uh, being able to uh, store uh, my uh, books on top of it. Or if, uh, you know, I want to work uh, on my laptop or my spouse wants to work on the laptop, she can work on that. So it's just a nice little thing to have to the side. And for those that want a little bit more uh, functionality and they want two things in one, there is what's called uh, the flip desk. So this is just a straight piece of wood. Very nice uh, looking, but the flip deck is uh, the next evolution of this, I guess. And what you see here is uh, Dice Thrones, so the card game just uh, set up as if it was one player uh, going to go. And so there's some uh, cool functionality with uh, the, the flip deck. And so on this side, because it's uh, double sided, hence the name flip deck, is that you have uh, the three rails here to put your cards. I, I think the rails, in my opinion, are a bit uh, too close. I will have liked this uh, spread out a little bit further uh, because I think that like over here, I use this as an example. Uh, I can't, I obviously can't see what cards are there. So I'm not gonna put three cards uh, next to each other because they're just way too uh, close. So I think the spacing would have been nice to be a bit further out. And if I take these cards away and just put them on my table here, uh, you can see that there's plenty of room uh, that these could have been uh, spaced out further. So potentially maybe looking at an option where these were spaced out a little bit more uh, uh, or just having, yeah, that option. I, let me know in the comments what you think about that. I think personally they're they're too close. I'd rather have just either have uh, two lines or them spaced out further. And what you have here is that you can put in uh, your tokens or whatever you're going to use for your games on this uh, side here or what it's uh, meant for on top of that is that the acrylic uh, bins that you can get from uh, Geek & Son fit in quite nicely here. And then you can take that acrylic bin and put it inside your gaming table if you want to. So if I take all those items though and show here, give me one second. The flip aspect is I can take this, flip it over, And now you got uh, the same item that you have here, right? Except, uh, so this is, uh, this is great that if you uh, want the functionality of this, but you want to have a little bit more and paying, uh, so this I think costs like 10 pounds more than this because obviously they have to do, do a little bit uh, on the other side and you have the extra metal and whatnot, uh, but it gives you more functionality. So if you want two for one type of deal, the flip desk might be for you. For me personally, I would only pick up uh, these because I think uh, the railing inside the actual table itself is a good enough for me for laying out uh, cards. I also am not uh, preferential to having my cards uh, laid out in that way. Uh, so I would just probably uh, pick up this. I also am not as big of a fan of having uh, the metal showing here, but obviously it has to show because it's a double sided uh, thing. I still like the functionality of, of this side, flipping it over to the other side, using the one hand as I hold my camera with the other, is a, it's a cool idea. And um, it's just giving you the, the double, uh, 
double usage uh, for this. So it's still a really cool thing. For me, I would not personally uh, pick this up. Uh, I'm still glad it was given to me for doing a review of, of the item. Uh, and still all these woods, it's just the same wood as the table, the wild oak uh, here. So um, you can obviously, uh, it will come in the same stain that you choose. So this was uh, the stain that I chose, or if you don't want uh, the, the wood stain, you can get natural oil or, or whatnot. It'll come in the same as your table as you want here. Uh, but it's a, a cool little item. Nevertheless, just not something uh, for me. I, I would still recommend it though for those who are looking to get accessories, but they want to save a little bit and they, they want the functionality of this. They want to be able to have a few more things. Maybe they don't want the big bin, but they do want to have people have the ability to place little tokens and whatnot or use the acrylic uh, bins uh, on the side. And uh, so you have uh, that item. Uh, the next one before I get to back over here is I just wanted to talk about, uh, this came free with the, the, the Kickstarter itself is that uh, on this, on the one side, it allows you to put the acrylic uh, bins down. And it's nice because the acrylic bins can fit uh, basically either way here. And uh, this will be nice, I, I think, because you can put in uh, your acrylic bins down here. So maybe you're only using like a portion of uh, the table and you can use it in uh, that uh, way. Or if you don't want to use it, you just flip it over. And that's something I didn't cover in uh, the table review because I forgot to mention it. I also cut myself off. Is that I love the fact that these are double-sided. So uh, you could, in essence, that uh, with your family, have it on one side. And um, if it gets all scratched up or whatnot, because you got kids or, or just uh, things become mucked up over time. Well, uh, when you are... Uh, gaming, you can flip it to the other side or vice versa, whatever one you want to have the nicer side, uh, you can do it that way. And there's also nothing stopping you that if you want to, you could potentially have uh, these engraved, like say you're really big into D&D uh, uh, &D or some other RPG, you could go to a woodworker and you could have one side engraved with like different um, uh, monsters or your, your heroes and stuff like that. And that'd be super cool, but your geek side could be flipped up only when you're gaming and then flipped down when you're having a company over. Uh, the other item that I did cover uh, before was uh, just the stake uh, board uh, here. Nothing uh, too fancy. You can see my other video. It just allows you to uh, cut the table in half or what not uh, you have uh, there. So the second last item here is, uh, I believe it's called uh, the DM uh, desk or, or the, the player uh, desk here. And what's uh, cool about this, again, you have your little pencil or pen holder here. And it's nice, uh, you know, you're only going to be able to put like one or two uh, things here. But I think that's a nice little uh, thing. And that's the thing that I was talking about having like uh, these dead space areas here. Just having something there, like having that more utility having and whatnot. Uh, but the player desk or the DM uh, desk is a cool uh, little thing. And if I open it up here, we got our Harry Potter <laughs> coloring a book, uh, but no, what it allows you to do is uh, if you have, uh, this is uh, an I, obviously uh, a MacBook uh, here. The MacBook uh, fits perfectly. If you have a, a, a laptop of this size, you could put in a, a laptop to put all your uh, your DM uh, stuff. You can put in books up, up to this uh, length here. Uh, so uh, for example, let me take out uh, this MacBook and so it's fairly big, but standard MacBook, right? And like I was saying, for the desk, it fits perfectly onto uh, this desk here for the, the MacBook. But uh, the only problem is, and again, uh, I haven't played as much uh, Dungeons & Dragons. I don't have any of the 5th edition books, but I do have uh, FFG's uh, Genesis uh, books. And the issue I have here for me is I do love playing this game, but it's not going to fit into uh, this bin here which is unfortunate. I was hoping that it would uh, fit. It'll still fit up here nicely. Like it'll still look like a nice little thing that if I want to have uh, my rule books or my Genesis book in this uh, case, it'll fit up uh, nicely here. But uh, for my household, what this will probably be used for, like I was saying, is just a storing of uh, the MacBook itself or storing of uh, smaller like rule books. Well, not small rule books, but like normal rule books and notepads and whatnot. And when I want to have things on a display, uh, I can just have it like that, which is a cool uh, functionality. 
and cool little uh, ability. Uh, I would like to see this be able to store D&D uh, &D 5th edition books and the Genesis book, like I was saying, which are, are a little bit uh, bigger. So I, if it was me, I'd probably reach out uh, to uh, Geek & Sun and just say, hey, is there a chance to get basically the same item, but just a little bit bigger so that uh, the dimensions of my book could actually fit in and, and you would have to work with them with that. So I'm, again, unsure if... Uh, uh, fifth edition books they must be able to fit just just fit in here but uh, let me know if you have a uh, making gaming table yourself and you play D, &D if uh, your books will fit but it's unfortunate for uh, the rpg i play genesis it won't fit in here but i'm super excited that my uh, macbook will fit just nice and uh, tug in here and i can put uh, potentially other notebooks in here now the only other item to mention here is that when you're closing this you want to make sure that this isn't uh, filled straight to the top because as you can see if i had this filled to the top um, a little bit of light here but uh, because of being able to store um, your books on top of here uh, you lose a little bit of space on top so it does lose a little bit of functionality in uh, that factor there you're probably this is probably uh, as high as you want to go for items uh, i mean if you're just having books and whatnot, you're not going to really be damaging anything, but it just won't close uh, properly. It'll, instead, it would be like closed like up to here if I had to put another uh, book uh, there. So that is a little bit of a, a con, a little bit of a negative uh, point. And this item, because it is heavier, as I take this out, oh, because it is heavier, uh, I wouldn't recommend taking it out with one hand normally. Uh, it does have uh, two uh, two clips in there because it's it is a little bit heavier. So uh, two uh, cons here: uh, you won't be able to uh, fit everything in uh, all the way to the top. So you, there's some dead space, and it's a little bit of a heavier item. Plus, it costs a, a little bit more. Uh, so if you're looking at picking up uh, this, really make sure that the dimension of the books and stuff that you want uh, will fit in. But the fact that it will fit in uh, your MacBook or another laptop of that size, I, I think that's a pretty uh, cool little thing. And then being able to use this as a, a DM uh, screen uh, is a super cool uh, functionality. So I don't recommend this for everyone, but I would recommend that for the games that you play, especially for like the RPG uh, games and whatnot, if it's able to fit your stuff, definitely take a look at it and uh, consider it. And just showing a side view here, just like how uh, thick. Again, all from uh, the same real wood. Super cool uh, idea for it. But this one is probably one of uh, the, the weaker accessories. Or uh, I should not say weaker, but more of the niche accessories. Because it's going to be for more of that like 20% of the gaming group. Or more like 80% of the RPGers that may want this. But uh, it would be unfortunate if you're like someone like me who plays Genesis or any other. Other RPG where the book doesn't fit uh, perfectly inside there so yeah just something to keep a note of and so just give me a second here 